Hello there and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dishwash liquid at home. If you are new to this channel, you may consider subscribing so that you do not miss any of our videos each time we upload them. Dishwash liquid such as Morning Fresh or Mama Lemon can be made from the following materials. These are Nitro Soap, Caustic Soda, Soda Ash, STPP, SLS Hortexapon, Sulfonic Acid, Foaming Booster, Color, Perfume and Sodium Benzoate. And before we go through the mixing process proper, let's go through the safety precautions you will take as you do this preparation. Do not make the preparation near naked flames or fire. Avoid direct contact of chemicals with the skin or eyes. Keep all chemicals out of reach of children and do not taste any chemical. Now we are going to go through the list of chemicals in the order in which we will dissolve them in water. Category 1 The first chemical in this category that you will dissolve in water is called nitrosol. Nitrosol is also known by the chemical name hydroxyl ethyl cellulose. In place of nitrosol, you can use carboxyl betyl cellulose, also known as antisol. Nitrosol and antisol both have appearance like powdered milk. The second chemical that will go into the solution is called caustic soda. Caustic soda is known by its chemical name sodium hydroxide. It is sometimes also called lye. It is usually identified by its crystalline structure looking so much like that of sugar. And the third chemical that will go into the solution of nitrosol and caustic soda is soda ash. Soda ash with a coarse crystals and dirty white color is the largest chemical used in the preparation of dishwash. The fourth chemical consists of four chemicals and that brings us to category two. These are STPP, SLS or Texapon, Sulfonic Acid and Foaming Booster. In this category, order is not important. You can start with anyone and end with anyone. But there are a few points I want you to note about these chemicals. Sulfonic acid is not the same thing as sulfuric acid. Sulfonic acid is a thick dark chemical, have an appearance like honey and generally mild. Sulfuric acid on the other hand is a transparent odorless liquid, very dangerous if concentrated. Make sure you get sulfonic acid and not sulfuric acid and do not even consider using them interchangeably. Sulfonic acid is also called linear alkyl benzene sulfonic acid. It is also called alkyl benzene sulfonate. Sometimes it is also called acid slurry. Please note also that sodium lauryl sulfate SLS and texapone are chemicals of the same substance. While texapone is jelly-like, SLS has appearance like rice grain. People are generally fond of using the two of them at the same time. That is not correct. You can either use texapone or SLS. Either of them will be okay. Now the last group of chemicals in our list of chemicals used for making dishwash are the fifth chemical which is color, the sixth chemical which is perfume and the seventh chemical which is preservative. Now the preservative we're going to use here is sodium benzoate. Please note that you will have to dissolve these chemicals in the order I have listed above. If you miss the order, you will not get a good quality soap. It has to be in this particular order. The first one is nitrosol or antisol. This is then followed by caustic soda. The third one is soda ash. The fourth chemical, which I said earlier, consists of four chemicals are STPP, SLS or texapone, sulfonic acid and foaming booster. This is category two and I said in this category, order is not important. And the fifth chemical is color, the sixth chemical is perfume and the seventh chemical is preservative. I said earlier that the preservative we're going to be using here is sodium benzoate. Now let's state the quantities of materials needed to produce 10 to 15 liters of dishwash. Nitrosol, 50 gram. Caustic soda, 40 gram. Soda ash, 200 gram. STPP, 60 gram. SLS, 50 gram. And if you're using texapone, 100 gram. Sulfonic acid, 
half a liter. Foaming booster, half a liter. Color, a tablespoon. Perfume, 30 ml and sodium benzoate, two tablespoon. Now these are the materials. This is nitrosol, this is caustic soda, and this is soda ash. This is STPP, this is SLS, here we're not using Texapon, and this is sulfonic acid. This is foaming booster, this is color, perfume, and this is sodium benzoate. Now the first thing we'll do is to dissolve the nitrosol in water. Now we are moving into category 2. Here we can start with anyone and end with anyone. So we are starting with STPP. Dissolve STPP in a small volume of water and add it to the soap solution.
Also, dissolve your SLS and add it to the soap solution. Now add your sulfonic acid and your foaming booster. Now dissolve your color and add it to it also. Now you can add your perfume and preservative.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, your dish wash is ready. You can add water to bring it to the consistency that you want. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you if you like this video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshiresources.org.ng You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Sunshine Resources SRTV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.